Hi my lovely viewers as you all know we will begin with Aries so Aries you are the peace settler you have settled something settled a score uh, maybe somebody in your family yeah so you have gone there and uh, brokered a peace situation so peace will prevail this week and you are the center of it which is so beautiful and uh, forgive those who have done wrong with you yeah there is a beautiful mantra for you that is Om Mani Padma Hum this will help you overcome a challenge. There is a challenge in your work scenario. Um, just keep chanting this till it is, um, you have overcome it. Angels are saying, do not get impatient because this is not the right time. So therefore, chant that mantra I told you, Omani Padma Hum, to overcome this particular situation that has cropped up and you will prevail, you will be victorious. Taurus, Taurians, you have the guest card. You have the riddle card, which means stop guessing. You already have certain answers. You know the answer. So stop querying yourself. Stop quizzing yourself in your mind. And work front is great. You're doing very, very well. Uh, you're dominating the scene literally. And everybody is stand to and add attention to what you are saying. Show the world the real you is what moon card is saying. And this is the week to do it. Spirit is saying it's up to you. So therefore, again, everything points in the same direction that uh, you're in command. You are in command, literally. Do positive affirmations. So if you are disturbed about a certain person, certain situation, um, think positive. Because if you think positive, you will bring positive back to you. Gemini. Geminins, uh, wow, money gains. So it's a time when... Uh, you know, you, you were expecting some money, there was some uh, financial situation which was not getting resolved because of certain things, certain finances in the pipeline. So you can think that that situation will be resolved because you will get that money that you need to resolve that situation. Spirit is saying you are ready. Yeah, so go for that leap, take that leap of faith and go ahead and do that killing or clinch that deal. That's a better thing. You are stressing too much. Your mind is literally very very stressed so every day or every second day take a bowl of water a big bowl of water and put some black salt or you know even white salt in it and uh, wash your hands with it uh, try and even wash your uh, feet uh, in a bowl of water which is infused with salt that really helps dissipate a lot of your tensions a lot of worry and a lot of negativity yeah Om Namah Shivaya is your chant. So chant to the Shiv, chant to Shivji to uh, bring peace in your environment. Yeah, and work through your fears is what um, the moon card is saying. Cancer, Cancerians, do not trust somebody um, blindfoldedly. So use your mind, use your logic, be discerning, especially this week. So those of you who are in a business arrangement, uh, do your own homework, do your own research before uh, you just believe in what the other is saying and uh, you will be able to uh, resolve a certain problem a certain issue and some differences between you and a family member so this is different from your work situation be assertive is what angels are saying uh, so stand to your ground it means stand to your ground um, take heed to your principles and stick to your principles a karnam na karya bhavati so nothing happens without a reason. So if something has come to pass, it has happened for a reason. So take it as a blessing in disguise, Cancer, and hold your vision. So aim high, that is important. Leo, Leans, you are living in the past. If you need to move forward, and if you want new avenues to open up for you, if you want new opportunities, you have to cut cords from the past. You even have to cut cords with a particular person if you want to progress in a particular relationship. Again, spirit is saying very, very similar, let go. So let go of something which is not working for you. That is so important. Somebody observant in your environment is coming up to help you in a particular situation. Meditate with the white shower of light. So white really helps dissipate the negative blockages in your chakras, the negative blockages in your aura. So meditate with that white light and do it at least 10 minutes every day, um, 5 to 10 minutes every day this week. And emotionally, therefore, because uh, Moon is saying 
you know, your emotions are heightened. So if you want to subside those heightened emotions, um, just do this exercise of meditation with silver light. Virgo. Virgos, you are working simultaneously on two projects. So also on the relationship front, some of you could be in, in a situation where there are two. Uh, so it could be a tripart uh, triparty relationship. So you need to decide. This is the week to decide because remember when you're sailing in two boats, you can topple over. But when it comes to your work front, um, it's going perfectly fine. So even if you're in two projects, take them forward with full vigor and gusto. Yeah, Communicate clearly is what angels are saying. Uh, that is very, very important this week. Yeah, Wear a black thread to overcome the evil eye and try and wear a rudraksh in it. So that really, really helps. So let's see what's Moon saying. Bring love into a particular situation. So in a relationship, if it is not working, for those of you who are not caught between two people, those of you in a simple uh, single relationship, uh, take that step forward. Libra. Librans, wow, money fall. So a big, big, big chunk of money is coming your way. Something you were expecting or not even expecting. So if you're looking for an answer, ask your angels, ask your spirit guides for that particular guidance or that answer that you're looking for. And be prudent. So be circumspect. Do the right thing. So go by the law. Don't go against the law, Libra, especially this week. Yeah. Simple acts of giving will bring you back lots and multifold yeah so right om now those of you who are in the beginning of a new venture beginning of a new phase right om 108 times every day do it this whole week and you see you'll have a good result uh, libra let's see what moon is saying your commitment is being tested this could be in a relationship scorpio scorpions money luck lady luck is smiling down on you those of you are in the stocks and share market, you can expect a killing, yeah? And you have drawn also the fool cards. The fool has many meanings. Uh, it means you being very simple about a particular thing. So try and look at the intricacies and uh, in intricacies of that particular situation. Also, it means adventure. It also means maybe you're starting on something new and impulsively, but don't worry, it'll go well. Get more information is what spirit is saying so get more information on something that you're starting up yeah and be happy and feel light-hearted as most of your worries are going to be leaving you soon and in a relationship be bold and make that first move sagittarius somebody loving and kind is coming in your environment so those of you who are going through an emotional burnout an emotional tough phase can expect uh, loving energy coming their way. So somebody is coming with love towards you. Believe, believe in the impossible and go for the impossible because you can do it. You have the potential. Yeah. And allow new opportunities, new friends to come also in your life. So chant Ahum Prema and try and meditate with a pink light. That draws new opportunities to you. And Moon is saying, you and your loved ones are safe. So why the worry? Capricorn. Capricornians, wow. Wish coming true. You have the wish card. So something you were really hoping for is going to happen now. But let go of the past. Let go of the past resentments and emotions. If you want uh, to continue in a new phase, in a more invigorated manner on your path, in your direction, then you must let go of the past resentments. Again, spirit is saying literally the same thing, forgiveness, forgive and forget because they know not what they do. So be the larger one. yeah. And don't let pride come in your way. Similar. So be the larger one. Don't let pride come in your way. Aquarius. Aquarians. Wow, you have pulled the victory card. So I have pulled the victory card rather for you all. And that means those of you are competing. Those of you are in a scenario of competition are going to be winners. Yeah. So this is great. And there will be helpful people in your environment who will help you to strike that balance, to strike that um, harmony, which may have been a little disturbed, especially uh, in your family circle. Yeah. Conserve that money, not the time to spend a lot of money 
yeah conserve your finances yeah om shri hanumate namaha pray to hanuman ji om shri hanumate namaha is your deity for this week especially you must chant his mantra and in the south at the time of sunset do light that diya that helps bring in new opportunities helps you expand your business expand your work and get more opportunities and moon is saying adjust you need to adjust a lot of adjustments are required in a particular situation lastly pisces pisces good news so somebody affectionate and kind is bringing forth good news for you and uh, could be a small a younger member of the family but you are uh, a little a little filled with boredom knowing not to see every when everything is going fine everything is good then you wonder what next so that's the kind of feeling you're getting so this is the time this is the time to decide what you need to do next this is the time to strategize yeah and for your the new phase which is round the corner a new phase in your workspace especially yeah so strategize a daily exercise of yoga or any other strict regimen is very very important start it this week yeah so those of you who are not uh going for that early morning walk or a, a regimen of you know physical fitness do that and also eat uh bio organic foods those really helps moon is saying luck is on your side so that's all for all you lovely signs and i will see you all next week 